Okay, so my daughter asked me um, what I do all day because, like, I have a lady who comes out and helps me clean. And then I have um, another, you know, I have occupational therapy and stuff like that that take up a little bit of time. But, um, so, since I get help with cleaning and I get mom's meals delivered, um, so I don't have to, like, cook very much or, you know, I don't cook very much. I get TV dinners and then that's what I eat when I'm not eating mom's meals or something. But, um, anyway, so, she asked me what I do all day and I don't know because, um... So I thought I would time it. So this morning I put my stopwatch on and um, I've been timing how long it takes me. Like the first thing I timed was I had to pee really bad. And so um, I, sorry, I'm going to transfer just for you. <laughs> so I know everybody likes my transfer videos. Um, but anyway, so I um, had to pee really bad this morning. In fact, I was concerned I wouldn't even make it in there. I have occasional incontinence. Um, but anyway, so I had to pee really bad. Um, but once I finally got out of bed and got over to the toilet and sat on the toilet, <laughs> then of course I couldn't pee um, because that's another problem with MS. Um, like it causes, uh, with MS, it affects your nerves. And so it basically takes the, the, coating like the plastic coating around wires picture nerves as wires and then the plastic coating that's around them um ms destroys part of that plastic coating and so um so yeah you can see my i have a, a diaper on because um i might be doing some errands and stuff but also um due to the fact that sometimes like my legs um freeze out and so i can't transfer onto the toilet or out of the bed or couch or wherever i am and so anyway that saves me the headache of having to do like a bunch of laundry <laughs> so yeah sometimes i wear diapers um but <laughs> however okay and this is my hairy leg which by the way i'm not shaving my legs until i raise a thousand dollars which I don't know how that's gonna happen but when I raise a thousand dollars then I'm gonna make a video of shaving my legs so hey lucky me um okay so this is I got mostly dressed but okay basically it took me at the 25 minute mark um, of sitting on the toilet needing to be un unable to um, then you know, I squeezed like a little bit out, but the problem with that is if I kind of force it out, then um, it doesn't fully empty, and so then later I get like another urgent, you have to pee right now, and then um, I'll be, you know, going <laughs> to the bathroom again. Like sometimes, sometimes it's rather immediate after I get off the toilet then get back in my wheelchair and then I'll go to the other room and then all of a sudden it's like oh yeah we were gonna pee um but 25 minutes sitting on the toilet before I finally got off and started getting ready and took a shower and then the shower I'm gonna make a video sometime of the process of getting from the wheelchair into the shower chair um but i'm not gonna do it today because i won't do it naked and um unless you're paying me or something <laughs> no i'm just kidding i won't do it naked and um and anyway so the process of taking a shower and stuff um it took another 30 minutes and then um so basically like by the time i was done going to the bathroom and taking a shower then it was an hour and then it took me another 30 minutes to get as dressed as I am which is almost dressed completely but um you know I like wearing the knee-high socks so um I'm going to wear knee-high socks but before I do that um I have this lotion this special like it's skin it's 
moisture barrier ointment that um, it is, I don't know, I use it, I mean, it's great for lotion, it's mostly just petroleum jelly, but anyway, it also is good for me because um, sometimes I spill like drinks or whatever on my legs and since they are so, since I don't feel right, like I won't even feel that they're wet or whatever, um, and so, anyway, um, so it kind of helps protect my skin, um, in that situation, but also because, um, the, the, um, do you want to see something gross? <laughs> Might as well, since I'm already doing this, and I believe in proactive humiliation. Okay, see my toe? Like, it's, it's not, right now it's like peeling up because I had an ingrown toenail and then they like took it out and then they put like acid stuff in there but now the toenail is like peeling up <laughs> the wrong way um but it's good it's just it's just like getting rid of the old stuff um but it's it looks gross um so anyway but it doesn't matter because my legs are hairy too, and that doesn't matter because I got super cute socks to wear. So, look at this. Oh, nutcracker socks. I found them at the Dollar Tree, um, and I was like, oh man, I have to have those. So, of course, I had to get them. This is the wrong one, though. Oh, look at this. This is going to be interesting. Okay, well, I don't want... I don't want the Nakarat Cruise on the sides of my feet, but maybe, actually, maybe I'll just do it. Okay, I'm going to wear the socks as they were designed to be worn. Typically, I like the faces and stuff facing in the front of my legs, but I don't know why I do that, so maybe I should do them the right way. Alright, so I'm going to put these ones on the right way. So I'll have two little Nutcrackers on my legs, um, because I took, okay, so... Anyway, I told you all the times, right? So I took um, half, I, I take pills um, occasionally for the fatigue that MS causes because um, it, it's, it's bad, but the, the type of medication I took this morning is actually an anti-narcolepsy um, medication. Um, I have two different types of, like the other one is, Adderall, it's, you know, basically for ABD, but, um, it can help me power through the fatigue that MS causes. Um, however, regardless of which one I take, um, I still <laughs> could take naps during the day. I still do sometimes take naps during the day and I still, um, can, you know, I'm still tired at night, like, no matter, I don't know, there are, okay, I'll just say it, my, like, oh, I, I had, I had a person in my life once <laughs> who, um, tried some of the, you know, upper meds that I'm on, and, um, well, and actually, he got prescribed them because he worked the night shift, and so he would have like a hard time with, um, I don't know, his sleep schedule and stuff. So he got a prescription for the same thing and they would keep him up like all day and, um, you know, into the evening. Like it was hard for him to sleep at all after taking one. And, um, I don't have that problem. <laughs> well, actually I do sometimes have that problem, but it, but, um, sometimes the fatigue just over, it doesn't matter which medication you take. Like the, the medication that I take for narcolepsy <laughs> or for ADD, like either one will give me just enough energy to feel almost normal. I mean, you still, with MS, it never, it's, it's constantly there. It constantly affects your life. It never, never, like, you can never forget that you have MS, except, I mean, sometimes, I guess, when I'm stoned, <laughs> that helps. Um, 
But I still don't forget I have MS. I still feel it and stuff. But it helps take the edge off and it helps, like, it helps me just to not focus so much on the parts of my body that don't work. Okay, I gotta show you this sock since I got it on. Isn't it cute? Oh, like a nutcracker sock. Okay, anyway, it's super cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know if it's lined up right though. I'll have to wait till I transfer back into the chair and then I'll, and then I'll try. Um, this video is going to take forever to upload because it's so long, but you don't have to watch it, but I mean, you can if you want, and you probably will since I'm showing off my hairy legs and my atrophied legs and I transferred and all this stuff. For some reason, those are my most popular videos. Um, so, you know, I don't know, um, like I think... Hopefully, it's a combination of people, like some people, there are sadists out there in the world who like to watch people like me um, struggle and who enjoy the the pain aspect of it and the, the um, humiliation, I guess, of you know, ooh, I exposed my diaper <laughs> to the world. And it's not even a diaper, but it kind of is because I am so atrophied that I wear the um, the little kids' um, pull-ups, <laughs> like the nighttime kids' ones. Um, so it's kind of a diaper. But anyway, um, so some people watch my videos or whatever, and they are just like, getting off on the um the pain and the humiliation and the whatever but it's gonna be hard to get off on my pain and my humiliation and stuff since i don't actually experience much like that's that's why that's why you and everyone out there should practice proactive humiliation because um it is the art of embarrassing yourself before the world does it for you and it is the way I live my life and I think that it's a good way to live I mean you just do stuff like like right now like I'm making a video with hairy legs and no makeup on and um you know just rambling and stuff so anyway um it's not the worst video I've made <laughs> Like, you can go out and look at all my other videos and find plenty of worse ones. And I know that. And it's nice because I don't have to worry about this being the worst video I've ever made. Because I'm sure there's other bad ones because I believe in proactive humiliation. So, I humiliate myself all the time on purpose because that way it makes other things less embarrassing later. <laughs> because I'm like, well, at least I'm not like doing this half naked or at least I'm not you know I don't know one time I fell in in these horrible like white leggings and they showed like everything but I got I made a video of doing it strictly for that person well one because they didn't want to fall again but then also because um you know that was pretty pretty bad exposure and stuff anyway okay so now this is my this is my worst leg like oh and I'll show you too since I'm all into the humiliation thing okay so my feet have I'll have to turn the camera a little bit because it's so hard um I'm working in occupational therapy on on like okay there look you can see my gross feet so um anyway I have very nods <laughs> Um, disease two, which is a condition that affects your hands and your feet, primarily, um, that it can also affect, like, other extra, like, your nose or whatever, or, you know, whatever, but anyway, it makes them turn different colors and stuff, especially, um, in the different temperature extremes, um, and it can, if... I don't know, it can cause more problems, but for me, it's mostly just color changes um, when my hands and feet get cold or hot, like in the heat, then they'll get bright red, 
Um, whereas in the nice, lovely, cold weather, then, sorry, I'm kind of shivering, um, because I, I just got a chill. Like, after the shower, I'm wearing a nice, warm sweatshirt, but I don't know why I'm shivering. But anyway, anyway, so Raynaud, um, makes my feet and my hands turn all sorts of lovely shades, um, which is, it's a fun kind of, I mean, it's not a fun, it's not, like, you can get gangrene and you can actually lose your toes and stuff. Um, Google Raynaud images, my occupational therapist told me to do that because she has Raynaud's too. Um, but anyway, she said that because <laughs> they can put you on like blood pressure medicine and stuff for it. But um, I'm not on anything. That's like the least of my problems. <laughs> you know, like why worry about my Raynaud's at this point? I mean, I'm trying to survive in the next 10 years and then um, hopefully life won't kill me before then. But if it does, then hopefully it kills me in some interesting way. That's all I want. It's all I ask for life. If you're going to kill me, kill me in an interesting way. I don't want to, like, die in a hospital bed. I mean, I don't know. Just do something interesting. Um, but if I survive 10 years, then um, hopefully it would be exactly 10 years from now in 2026 that I would throw a big party, um, my proactive death party. Which hopefully I'll get roasted by um, some of my favorite authors and stuff and just, I don't know, it's just going to be fun. But um, anyway, okay, these thoughts. I love them so much. Okay, let me see. If, oh, I can't even see the mirror. Oh well. Alright, but anyway, so they're super cute. So now I will put my socks up here okay so and then i'll start working on like most days i don't even wear makeup like yesterday i went to the fire department to see if the guys had filled out my um okay and this is one other thing i'm supposed to do this so i'm gonna try i'm supposed to try to sit cross-legged occasionally to kind of stretch those um tendons that are like near your vagina near your pelvis I don't know what those tendons are um they're they're like the tendons on top of your hips hips so like near your pelvis I guess but anyway so I'm supposed to try to get cross-legged and then it will help stretch them out however getting to the cross-legged position is not exactly like super easy but if I get there then maybe I'll switch actually before I get there I'm gonna try switching the camera over here so that it is at a different angle but hopefully it's still bright enough to to show you everything okay let's see I'm trying I'm trying okay there Oh, work. Okay, so now I have to try to get cross-legged. So, cross-legged, and then, um, even though I don't usually wear makeup, because in the spirit of proactive humiliation, like one time, I went, I usually don't, okay, I went to um, the bank, and since I don't usually wear makeup, then this day I was actually wearing makeup, and the bank lady was like, oh, you look so nice. I was like, ha! That's because I believe in proactive humiliation. I come in here all the time with no makeup on so that one of these days I'll wear makeup and then everybody will be like, oh my gosh, how pretty you look. <laughs> so anyway, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm kind of getting my, my nutcracker legs in the cross-legged position, but it's so hard. And then... um. So I have, I have like leggings, I have a skirt on and all this stuff, so I'm not gonna, oh, plus my diaper. Yeah, so don't worry, I'm not gonna flash your moon or anything, or sh you can see up my skirt, but it's not like you're gonna see anything. So, um, <laughs> try and, try and come on, Nutcrackers, you can do it, you can do it. Just, yeah, 
That nutcracker is looking pretty intense there. He's like, come on, come on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, so this is like as cross-legged as I'm going to get, but I'm trying to put I'm going to try to put my right leg on the outside because um, my left leg has the hardest time with it. Um, and so I'm going to force it to be even, have it even harder to, because I need to stretch. Um, yeah, because it hurts. Um, okay, but now anyway. So the reason that it takes this, the, the the reason that I can be here and have someone help me clean my house and get meals delivered and not actually accomplish very much during the day is because it takes me so long. Like seriously, it's probably been two hours since I got out of bed and I'm just now getting to the point where I can even think about putting on makeup and stuff like most girls. Um, a large part of their getting ready is their putting makeup on and stuff like that, but that's not me. But I don't even think I have the makeup I want to wear. I don't know if I'm even going to. I'll probably just skip it anyway. Alright, but yeah, Nutcracker sucks. We're taking time um, forever because it just takes long and like like peeing I never I, I knew that there's been many days that I sit on the toilet until my butt gets sore and then I just have to get off because I still haven't peed but today I timed it and it was 25 minutes so anyway anyway that's why it takes so long all right bye